Welcome to another ukulele tutorial. I'm Lara, and today I'm going to show you four songs that use only two chords. I'll show you how to play these two chords, as well as how to transition back and forth between them. I'll also show you two different strumming patterns that can be applied to these songs, and really applied to almost any song that you want to play. Since you're watching this tutorial, I'm guessing you might be new to ukulele. You might also be new to singing and playing at the same time. Two chord songs are a great place to start. I want to point out that I have a low G on my ukulele. If you have a high G, you can still follow this entire tutorial. Just keep in mind that our chords might sound just slightly different because our fourth string is one octave apart. Now let's take a look at these two chords. Our C chord is played on the third fret of the first string. There's no rule about which finger you have to use to play your C chord, but most common is your ring finger. Our G7 chord is a three finger chord. It's played with our ring finger on the second fret of the first string, our index finger on the first fret of the second string, and middle finger on the second fret of the third string. If you're playing C with your ring finger, you don't need to lift it up in order to move into your G7 chord. You can simply slide your finger back one fret and then place down your index and middle fingers to form G7. If you prefer to play C with your pinky, then you'll lift your pinky up and place down your other three fingers to move into your G7 chord. You can try both methods and use whichever one you prefer. In each of these four songs, there's either a verse or a verse and a chorus that repeat throughout the whole song. I'll show you how to play each verse and chorus with both strumming patterns, and then you can refer to all the lyrics that I have in a PDF link down in the video description. Our first easy strumming pattern is going to be a down strum on every beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. When you do your down strums, use the rotation of your wrist to strum rather than the movement of your arm. Here's this pattern up close, nice and slow. The rhythm is one, two, three, four. Feel free to use either your thumb or your index finger for strumming. Now let's take a look at our first song. He's got the whole world in his hands. The chord changes happen when you see a new chord written over a word. So for example, the first line, we're starting on C, and then as we move into the second line, we stay on C until we get to our G7 that's written over the word whole. We're going to play the strumming pattern twice on every chord until we get to the fourth line. On the fourth line, we're going to play it only once on G7 and once on C. So essentially, every chord on lines one through three will have eight total beats, or eight total strums, and then line four will have four strums on G7 and four strums on C. Now let's sing through this first verse. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the If you'd like to practice the other verses of this song with the additional lyrics, you'll find them all in the PDF link in the video description. As with anything new that you learn on ukulele, it's always a good idea to start off nice and slow. Get the rhythm of these strumming patterns in your right hand, and over time you'll be able to play them faster and play them while you're singing. Our second strumming pattern is called the island strum, and this is one of the most common strumming patterns for ukulele. Here's what it sounds like. a closer look at this pattern. Here's a close look at our island strum played nice and slow. The pattern here is down, down, up, up, down, up. 
The rhythm is one and two and three and four and. Now let's use the island strum to sing the first verse of He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. Similar to our first strumming pattern, we're going to play our island strum twice on every chord until we get to the fourth line. We'll play it once on G7 and once on C. He's got the whole Our second song is one of my favorites. It's called Aiko Aiko. Let's take a look at how to play this one with our first easy strumming pattern. For the first verse, we're starting off on C. We'll play our easy strumming pattern three times on C and then once on G7. For the second line of the verse, it's the opposite. We play this pattern three times on G7 and then once on C. The tempo is one, two, three, four. into the chorus and you'll find the same chord progression in the chorus and really through the entire rest of the song. So for the chorus, just like the verse, we're going to play this pattern three times on C and then once on G7 for the first line. For the second line, we'll play it three times on G7 and then once on C. Talking about hey now. Here's what it sounds like if we put the verse and the chorus together. My grandma and your grandma were sitting by the fire. My grandma told your grandma I'm gonna set your flag on fire. Talking about hey now, hey now, I go, I go one day. Let's look at how to play Aiko Aiko with our island strumming pattern. Here's our tempo for using the island strum on this song. Now I'll sing through the first verse and the first chorus using the island strum. My grandma and your grandma were sitting by the fire. If you're enjoying this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for subscribing. Our next song is Skip to My Lou. Let's take a look at how to play this one with our first strumming pattern. We're going to play our basic strumming pattern twice on every chord for the first three lines. When we get to the fourth line, we'll play it once on G7 and once on C. Here's the tempo. Now let's sing through the first verse. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip to my loo, my darling. Now let's look at how to play Skip to my loo with the island strum. Using our island strum for this song, here's what the tempo will be. Through the first verse. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip to my loo, my darling. Now we have.
have one more song, and this one has a different time signature or a different rhythm. So far, the first three songs that we played were all to the beat of four. One, two, three, four. This song is to the beat of three. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'll show you two different strumming patterns that you can use for this rhythm. The first strumming pattern is a down strum on every beat. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's take a look at how to play this song, Clementine, with this easy strumming pattern. The chord progression for the verses and the chorus in this song is the same. So for every two lines, we're going to play this pattern three times on C and then once on G7 for the first line. The G7 carries over to the second line, so we play our pattern once on G7, once on C, once on G7 again, and then once more on C. Now let's sing through the first verse and first chorus using this easy strumming pattern. In a cavern, in a canyon, excavating for a mine, lived a miner, 49er, and his daughter, Clementine. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine, you are lost and gone forever, dreadful song. Our second strumming pattern for this song sounds like this. Let's take a close look at this one. The pattern here is down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down. Essentially we're adding in an up strum between the second and third down strum. Now let's look at how to play Clementine with this strumming pattern. In a cavern, in a canyon, excavating for a mine, lived a miner, 49er, and his daughter Clementine. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling. Now you've learned two chords and four different two chord songs. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Have fun with your ukulele and thank you so much for watching.